Ariel, Conor McGregor told you he wanted a war with Dustin Poirier, but he got more than he could handle from him. He's the meal ticket. He's the biggest star in UFC. How do you expect him to regroup now? He needs a redemption. I think time has probably taken its toll. Do you think that's it, or do you think it's just money and motivation? Conor McGregor had already beat Dustin Poirier. <laughs> And there was a meaningful gap between Connor and Dustin. Dustin is a different person. Yeah. He's a different person than he was when they first fought. Connor's a different person too, but I don't think he's the same animal that he was back then. He does not like to lose, but he will follow procedure. What are the emotions like for you right now? I have no excuses here. I don't know I don't know where I'm at at the minute, to be honest. It is what it is. He fought a hell of a fight and that's it. What can I do? I'm happy for him. But imagine that Connor and Poirier do go fight again. Imagine they fight next. It's going to tell us so much about Conor McGregor. This is, without doubt, the most important fight of Conor McGregor's career. I'm a dead man I always say you should aim for peace. But if you can't aim for peace, aim between the eyes. If this thing starts to blossom into a fight, second, third, fourth, we start hurting in there, we start having to grind it out, we start getting a rhythm, I'll win that fight 10 out of 10 times. Connor can knock anybody out. You see what he, what he did to Eddie Alvarez. You see what he did to Aldo. Nobody had ever done that to Aldo before. I've done one of the hardest things there is to do in fighting, and that's pick myself up off the canvas multiple times. What Connor is, is an exceptional world championship fighter. I mean, that's what he really is. All this other stuff, is, the bullshit, is going to get in the way of his legacy. He came back for the love of fighting and the love of war. It's really on the line for him. Like, like I said, he's not doing this for money. He's doing this for pride, for respect. He's not doing it for anything else but that. He doesn't need to. That's a dangerous man, like I said. And he was the up and coming guy who had a lot of hype and didn't have that big staple win in his UFC career yet. And, and I was that guy, unfortunately. Come back and let's go again, my man. Dustin Poirier is a bad motherfucker. We have a great story, and somebody's most likely getting finished again. Let's see who it's going to be. Uh, I understand that the guy's dangerous. It's all I know. It's all I do is put people out, and I'm going to do so again on Saturday night. Mark my words. There's not a place this fight goes that I don't have an answer or, or I'm uncomfortable. Wherever this fight goes, I can win. I can, I can win a decision, submission, knockout. So I look forward to putting in a room similar to what I've done in the featherweight division, inside the 155 pound division. He wants to do it at 55. UFC wants it at 55, so I know what that means. That means the winner of this fight is fighting for the ball. Dustin, I'm coming for you, Pete. <laughs>